Welcome back to the track viewers where today we have two very iconic teams of trucks here ready to do battle on our replica track. We are talking about Gravedigger and Max D. This is going to be a great race and great event here today. Let's start out by meeting Team Gravedigger starting with Grandma Gravedigger followed by Green Ghost Gravedigger 25th Anniversary Chrome Gravedigger 30th Anniversary Gravedigger then we have the Ice Grave Digger, the Breaking World Records Grave Digger, the current Spin Master Chase Grave Digger, and the 40th Anniversary Grave Digger. These are some great looking trucks and are a huge fan favorite, whether in the die cast version or the real version. How will they do here today? And now it's time to take a minute and meet the other eight trucks competing here today. We have Team Max D, and there's some great looking trucks in this team as well. What do you say we meet all of them, starting with the original Maximum Destruction? Then we have the 10 year anniversary Max D, followed by Yellow Max D, Red Max D, Max D Fire, Breaking World Records Max D, the Max D Chase piece. And we can't forget the 20th anniversary Max D. That's a great looking truck. But will these Max Ds be able to keep up with all the grave diggers? Or will they bring the maximum destruction they're known for and take the grave diggers out? Which of these teams is your favorite and which ones are you rooting for? I know which one's my favorite, but that wouldn't be fair. These are all great looking trucks. Now let's take a minute to look at today's racing bracket and how the races will lay out. And heading up to the track first, we will have original Maximum Destruction taking on Grandma Gravedigger. We have the 10 year anniversary Max D facing Green Ghost. Yellow Max D will face 25th anniversary Gravedigger. The Red Max D will go against 30th anniversary Gravedigger. Max D Fire will take on Gravedigger Ice. World Records Max D will face World Records Gravedigger. Heavy Metal Chase Piece Max D will race Heavy Metal Gravedigger. And 20th Anniversary Max D will face 40th Anniversary Gravedigger. Which of these races do you think will be the best? There are some great lineups here today. Let's head up to the starting gates, get the races started, and see which ones will move on. And up first to the gate, we have original Max D taking on Grandma Gravedigger. Let's go racing. Here we go, Grandma with a huge old shot coming down the ramp. Oh, maximum Destruction has a big crash on that first obstacle. Grandma has a big jump off that back obstacle. Oh, wow. Almost did a barrel roll, but makes it to the line to take the win. Let's take another look from the track cam and see what happened to that Maximum Destruction truck off the first jump. As the gate drops, Grandma Gravedigger just starts to pull away, coming down that first jump, but Max D doesn't have the speed to clear the jump. Wow, big crash. Grandma with the barrel roll lands upside down and takes the win. Maximum Destruction definitely had some destruction in that first round, not clearing that first obstacle. Wow. And it is Grandma Gravedigger taking the win, moving into the next round. What a race. Now let's head back up to the gates for the next one. And here we go with 10 year anniversary Max D taking on Green Ghost Gravedigger. Let's go racing. Gate drops and they're off. Wheel to wheel coming into that first jump. Big air, but they're both going left. Gravedigger has a problem off that second jump. Max D does a flip, lands on the wheels, and makes it to the line before Green Ghost gets there. Wow. Let's take another look at that one. It's a close race coming down into this first jump, but they start going into the gray lane. Gravedigger can't hold it, flips. Max D flips, lands on the wheels, and powers out for the win. In that one, it's Team Max D looking for a little revenge after last round and taking the win in this round, moving into the next one. What a race by that 10 year anniversary truck. That was awesome. Let's head back up to the gates now for the next pair. And for this matchup, we have Yellow Max D taking on the Chrome 25th anniversary. Here we go. Green flag gate drops and they're off. Gravedigger starting to pull away. They're coming down into that first jump. Big air, they're heading left again. Oh, Gravedigger does a double flip, lands on the wheels and keeps going. Wow. That was an incredible run. What happened to Max D though? Let's take another look from the track cam and check it out again. We gotta see that flip from Gravedigger. As the gate drops, watch that chrome Gravedigger in the gray lane. Comes down the ramp, lands hard on the front end, does a double flip, lands in and powers through to take the win. What a race. Well, it's Team Max D having problems off that second jump again, but Team Gravedigger had an awesome win, throwing in a little freestyle. That'll help move into the second round. <laughs> now let's head back up to the gates for the next pair because they're ready to go. 
And up next, we have the Red Max D in the Black Lane taking on 30th Anniversary Grave Digger. Let's go racing. Here we go, Grave Digger ahead by Battle Wheel coming into that first jump, but then on to the side. Grave Digger starts to pull away. Max D catching up. Grave Digger has a huge jump off that back obstacle. That was awesome. It was a cool jump, but it allowed Max D to take the win. Let's take another look. Coming down the ramp, it's a pretty close race coming into this first jump. They both start to go left. Oh, they get together. Grave Digger goes off the side, huge jump, and Max D takes the victory. Well, viewers, both these teams are truly really matched well because halfway through the first round and we're even going into the second round. Max D has two wins, Grave Digger has two wins. What a race here so far. Now let's head back up to the gates for the next pair. And up next to the gates, we have a fire and ice battle. What a cool looking matchup. Let's go racing. Gate drops in these trucks are wheel to wheel, coming down the ramp into the first jump. Oh, Grave Digger lands hard on the front, can hold and flips. Max D crashes, Grave Digger passes back and takes the win. Wow, I thought Max D had that one when Grave Digger crashed, but Grave Digger came back for the come from behind victory. Let's take another look. Coming down the ramp, this is a great battle. The trucks are side by side, coming off the first jump. Grave Digger has problems, flips, Max D pulls ahead, but also crashes, and Grave Digger takes the win. What a race. Those fire and ice trucks are so cool looking. Great job, Spin Master. But in this one, there can only be one winner, and it's Grave Digger Ice moving into the next round. What a race by that truck. Now let's head back up to the starting gate for the next pair. And with this matchup, we have two world records trucks going head to head. Which one will take the win? Let's go racing. Green flag, here we go. World records, Max D a little head coming down into the first jump. Big Eric Grave has problems again. Come off the second jump, lands it, and still passes for the win. Wow. What is with that Grave Digger truck flipping off that second jump? That is incredible. Max D not able to make it to the line, but let's take another look. Coming down the ramp, Max D has just a little bit of an advantage coming off that first jump. Grave Digger lands hard, flips off the second jump. Oh, they get together. Max D crashes Grave Digger for the win. Both these trucks are world record holders, but there can only be one winner when they line up together. And today it is the world record Grave Digger taking the win, moving into the next round. What a race by that truck. Now let's head back up to the gates and see if another Max D can move on. And up next to the gates, we have two heavy metal chase pieces with Max D taking on Grave Digger. Here we go. And they're off. Both trucks wheel to wheel coming into the first jump. Big air this time. They both have bumps off second jump. Whoa, what? Look at those flips over the crush cars. Wow. Both of the trucks landed off their roof and catapulted up into the air. Did you see how high Max D went? I think Grave Digger took the win, but let's see. Coming down the ramp, both trucks are even coming into that first jump. They both start to flip, both land hard, flip high over the crush cars. And yes, Grave Digger takes the win. That was a wild race by both of these trucks there. I cannot believe how high that Max D truck went, but this is not freestyle, this is a race. And Grave Digger made it to the line first to move on. What a race. Now let's head back up to the gates for the next one. And up next, we have two beautiful trucks with 20th Anniversary Max D taking on 40th Anniversary Grave Digger. Let's go racing. And they're off wheel to wheel coming into that first jump. It's a close race. They both want this win. They're even coming off the second jump. They start having problems. Max D goes wide out of the screen. Grave Digger bicycles and makes it to the line. But which truck won? We couldn't tell. We'll have to take a look from the track cam. Coming down the ramp, both these trucks want to move into that next round. They're wheel to wheel. Both start having problems. Max D goes wide, and at the line it is Grave Digger by a wheel. Wow, what a race. Well, viewers, in the first half of this round, it sure was a close race between both these teams. But now Grave Digger takes another win, and that is six wins moving into the second round. Wow. What do you say we head over to the pits and check out the trucks that are moving into the next round? Well, viewers, we have had some great racing here so far in these awesome team matchups. It has been wild. Now let's take a minute to meet the trucks moving into the second round, starting with Grandma Gravedigger and 25th Anniversary Gravedigger. 10-year Max D and Red Max D. Then we have Ice Gravedigger taking on Heavy Metal Chase Gravedigger followed by World Records Grave Digger and 40th Anniversary Grave Digger. Which of these trucks will move on to compete in the semi-final round? Let's head up to the gates and find out now. 
And up first, we have Grandma and the Chrome 25th Anniversary Grave Diggers. Let's go racing! And they're off wheel to wheel coming into that first jump. Huge air, but the 25th Anniversary truck has big problems and a big crash. Wow, that Grandma Grave Digger is just so fast coming down the ramp. It's got to be the weight of that heavy casting. Wow! Let's take another look from the track cam and see what happened to that 25th Anniversary truck. Watch it close over there in that gray lane. Comes off that first jump, noses over, has a huge crash, allowing Grandma Grave Digger an easy win. Well, this older casting is really showing these newer trucks how the racing is done. And Grandma Grave Digger takes the win and will be the first truck moving into the semifinals. Now let's head back up to the starting gates for the next matchup. The only two Max D's left meet here in the second round, which means one of them will move on, but which one? Let's go racing! Here we go, really even coming down into that first ramp. Big air from both trucks, 10 years coming back. Red really powers off and has a nice jump off that back obstacle to take the win. Wow! That 10 year anniversary truck was quick coming down the ramp, but something must have broke. Let's take another look from the track cam. As the gate drops, both these trucks so fast, coming down the ramp, 10 years starts to pull away, coming down into the second obstacle, red powers off and takes the win, what a race. Well, when there's only two trucks remaining from the same team, it's a good and bad thing, it's guaranteed that one truck will move on, and in this one, it's Red Max D taking the win, moving into the semi-finals, but now let's head back up to the gates for the next pair, because they're ready to go. And up next, we have Ice Grave Digger taking on the Heavy Metal Chase Truck. Let's go racing. Green flag gate drops and they're off. These two trucks really put the power down. Coming down the ramp, the Heavy Metal Chase piece goes way wide. Lands on the side and slides all the way to the wall. Wow. Allowing Ice Grave Digger the victory in this race. That was wild. What happened to that Heavy Metal Chase piece? We need to take another look and find out. Coming down the ramp, that truck's so fast, pulling away from Ice, but as it hits the jump, it just goes completely left. Can't hold the landing and crashes. Ice Grave Digger for the win. That's got to be the fourth or fifth big crash from that Team Grave Digger here so far today. What is going on? But either way, it is Ice Grave Digger taking the win, moving into the semifinals. So we'll see that truck later. Now let's head back up to the gates for the next pair. And up next, we have the World Finals truck meeting the 40th anniversary Grave Digger. Let's go racing. Here we go, wheel to wheel, coming down into that first jump over that big gap, and it's 40th anniversary having problems off the second jump. Wow, World Finals does a nose wheelie all the way across the crush cars. Is that the world record that truck holds? <laughs> if not, it should be. Let's take another look from the track cam and see what happened. Coming down the ramp, both these trucks are evenly matched. It's like they're on the same team. The 40th anniversary has problems, has a big crash. World records with a big nose wheelie for the win. That's one wild way to finish out that round of racing as it's the world records grave digger taking the win with a huge nose wheelie. That was awesome. Now let's head over to the pits for a minute and check out the trucks moving on into the semifinals. Well, everyone knows moving into the semifinals, that means 12 trucks have already been eliminated from competition. And that's really too bad because there are some awesome looking Max D and Gravedigger trucks now watching from the pits over here. Make sure to find us on Facebook and comment and let us know which trucks are your favorite from this race and every other race that we do. But now let's take a look at the four trucks moving on into the semifinals. And we will be starting with Grandma Gravedigger and Ice Gravedigger followed by Red Max D and Grave Digger breaking world records. Max D was really outnumbered in the first round, but it's still here racing. Do you think that truck can move on and make it up here on the podium for today's tournament? Let's head up to the gates now and find out. And up first for the semi-finals, we have Grandma and Ice Grave Diggers ready to do battle. Let's go racing. Here we go, Grandma pulling ahead, coming down into that first jump. That truck is so fast, they both have problems on the second jump. Huge flips from both trucks. Ice lands on the wheels, powers through for the win. Wow. Grandma Grave Digger also ends up on the wheels, but it's too late because Ice Grave Digger already took the win. Let's take another look from the track cam. Coming down the ramp, both these trucks are so fast, but they have problems on the landing into that second obstacle. Both have huge flips. Look at Grandma, three or four flips, but Ice already took the win. What a wild ride from both those trucks. We're gonna have to get them over to the pits to get checked out for the next round. But it is Ice Grave Digger taking the win, moving into the finals, and Grandma will have to race one more time for that third place position. Now let's head back up to the gates for the next pair. 
And here we go with the last remaining Max D taking on world record Gravedigger. Let's go racing. Here we go, and it's Max D with a little advantage coming down the ramp into that first jump. It's a close race. Oh, world record is having problems, and that's a big crash. Wow. Gravedigger takes itself out as Max D hits the wall at the end of the track after taking the win. What a race. Let's take another look from the track cam. Coming down the ramp, both these trucks are so fast. It's a close race coming off that first jump, but oh, they do get together. Gravedigger crashes, Max D takes the win and moves on. What a race. Well, when you're the only truck left for your team trying to get into the final round, you do what you can to win. And it looks like they got together, causing Gravedigger to crash, and Max D will move on into the final round. And that Gravedigger truck will have to race one more time for third place. Wow, that was wild. Now let's head back over to the pits one last time and check out the trucks moving on. Let's take a look quick and see what the trucks see coming down the ramp. Here we go. So fast coming down the ramp into that first jump. Huge air off that second jump over the crush cars and boom for the win. What a race. That was wild. Now for third place, we have Grandma Gravedigger taking on World Records Gravedigger. And for your first place championship round here today, we have Gravedigger Ice taking on Red Max D. This is wild because Max D was at such a disadvantage in the second round, but yet here it is racing for the finals. Awesome. Let's head up to the gates now and get the final round started. And now here's your race for third with the Gravedigger matchup. We have Grandma taking on world records. Let's go racing. Here we go, Grandma starting to pull away, coming down the ramp, that truck so fast. Oh, they get together in the black lane, start to go wide, and it is world finals to the line for the win. Wow, I did not expect that out of Grandma Gravedigger. That truck has been so fast here all day today. What happened? Let's take another look from the track cam. Coming down the ramp, both these teammates want this win bad. They want that podium spot. They start going wide, they get together. Grandma starts to crash, allowing world records an easy win. What a race from those trucks. That was definitely an unexpected win right there, but it is cool that the world records truck is now gonna be up on the podium as Gravedigger World Records takes the win and will be up there later. We'll check it out then. Now let's head back up to the gates for the race everybody's been waiting for. That's right, viewers. This is your final round and it's come down to this one for the win. We have Ice Gravedigger taking on Red Max D. Let's go racing. Here we go, Gravedigger Ice starting to pull away, coming down the ramp into that first jump, big air for both trucks. Oh, Gravedigger's having problems, what? Wow, Red Max D takes the win as Gravedigger Ice goes wide on the back obstacle and can't make it to the line. What a race, let's take another look. Coming down the ramp, Gravedigger starting to pull away. That truck's been fast all day, but has problems here on the landing. Goes wide, something must break in that truck, allowing the Red Max D an easy win. What a race. And that right there, viewers, is exactly why no matter what happens, you should never give up because you never know what's gonna happen. And it is Red Max D making it to the line first, taking the win and the championship here in this Max D versus Gravedigger race. This has been a wild tournament. What do you say we head on over to the winner circle and check out the trucks that deserve to be up there? But on the way, we're gonna stop by the pits one more time and check out these Max D and Gravedigger trucks. Look at them, these trucks are absolutely incredible. Again, which truck is your favorite? It would be awesome to hear from you on our Facebook page. Meet us there. Now, let's take a look at the trucks that deserve to be on the podium. There they are, the fastest three trucks here all day. They look great. Can you believe which trucks have made it up here? And in third place for today's race, we will have Gravedigger World Records. Bringing home second place up there on that silver podium, we have the Ice Gravedigger. This is a great looking truck from that awesome Fire and Ice series. And your winner here today up there on that gold podium with the trophy, we have the Red Max D truck. Nobody thought this was gonna happen going into that second round of racing, but Max D pulled it off and deserved to be up there on that podium. What do you say we take a minute and help all these trucks celebrate?
Thanks again for watching Our Time for Adventures. Until next time.